Hi everyone, it's Mel here. Welcome back to my channel. We're back for part two of my Chanel earring collection. So this was a video requested by some of you lovely ladies. So I'm back to show you my newer pieces. Now before I get into it, I just want to say that there is quite a few earrings to show you. And this collection, I was thinking about how long I've been collecting for. It's been probably been about 14 or 15 years. So just bear in mind when you have a look at all this, it hasn't, it's not an overnight thing or even a couple of years. It has taken a while. And some of them I've bought myself. Some of them have been gifts from my husband. Others have been gifts from friends because they're like, oh, what will Mel want? Oh, Chanel earrings. What will Mel want? Oh, Chanel earrings. So I do, I've been very blessed to have such great family and friends and of course a good hubby that I've collected quite a few. So we're going to do the same concept and we're going to just do like a slideshow and I'm just going to show you the earrings. Now a lot of these are not on sale anymore. The ones that are newer I will link in the description box. The ones are probably in the last year or so. Um, you may be able to find them in boutiques. But sit back, have a cup of tea and enjoy my Chanel earring collection. I just wanted to show how I stored my Chanel earrings. Now this box here is from a company called Muji and I will link them up in the description below. And they sell these clear little acrylic boxes and I love it because as I was telling you before my first video, I always keep my earrings on display because I wear them five out of seven days. So if I just open it up, these um, dividers also, you can purchase them and there's different variations. I've just chosen these ones because you know, I like, I just like the look of it and it suits my needs the best. So if you can see, all my earrings are there. I've kind of, you know, arranged them into stories. There's my little pearl story. There's my little silver and gold story. This is like a purple green story and this is sort of my black earrings. So that's how I've stored them. And down the bottom, I haven't talked about this, but I've just got some of my brooches and some of my other designer pieces. What I love about this drawer unit is that you can buy another one if you run out of space. They're stackable and you can always buy inserts. So I find this storage unit really handy. 
I also got a couple of questions from you guys. How do I clean my Chanel earrings? What I actually do is I just use like a spare sunglass, you know those uh, cloths that come with sunglasses case, and I just sort of, you know, use that to clean the back of my earrings if they do get a bit dirty. Now one little trick that I have is that if you've got a clean mascara wand brush, sometimes with the ones, you know, if you, your earrings uh, have little bits like pearls, I just kind of use that softly and clean anything out of it if I do need to. And look, you can buy them like in a pack of five or something really cheap from Target or any one of those stores. So another point that I just wanted to mention quickly was I forgot to mention in my first video that all my Chanel vintage earrings are actually clip-ons. And all the ones that you see in the slideshow today are for pierced ears. Now those of you that have sensitive ears, I actually double checked with my essay and all Chanel earrings are nickel free. That's what I've been told. And they should not tarnish. I haven't had any problems with mine tarnishing. They have not turned green, nothing. That's what my sales associate told me. Um, and from my own personal experience, that hasn't happened. I've also been told from friends and even my sister that there's certain Chanel styles, if, especially the ones with the diamantes, they tend to fall out and you've got to go back and get them fixed and things like that. Personally, I haven't had that happen, but for one of my styles, I did have one pearl come off and they fixed that within a week really, really quickly. And another was the back plaque, you know, the one that's got the date stamp, that has fallen off one of my Chanel earrings before. Now, if you lose that plaque, they cannot replace that just as, you know, an FYI. But if you still have that plaque, they can reattach that for you, no problem. So usually if it's within one or two years, Chanel will replace it complimentary for you. Or if it's a slightly older earring, there may be a very small fee. So just thought I'll let you know about that as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my total Chanel earring collection. Let me know which one is your favorite or let me know if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I read all your comments. I appreciate all your support and I will see you in my next video. See you later.